formula. Singapore wakes up. Wake up, Glenn, wake up. Angel, and the Flying Dutchman. Wake up in the morning feeling like it's 92's Big Show. Good morning, Singapore, and welcome to the biggest and best breakfast show in Singapore. You better believe it. We are the Big Show, brought to you by Caro. And this morning, we have two legends in front of us. Nathan Hirayama, as well as Shire Kaka. And they're in town for the Singapore Rugby Sevens. Welcome, guys. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Good thanks to be here. so much awesome for waking here. up early and joining us. Are you looking forward to this weekend? I'm looking forward to this weekend. It is going to be hot and that is seven. So I'm excited to see everyone have some fun on the field. Is this is this your first time for the both of you here? Nathan, you would have been here before, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I've been here. I think this is my sixth or seventh time. Right. Here, okay. So it's always, uh, always one of my favorite weeks of the year. It's one of the best tournaments in the world. So I know the whole series always looks forward to this one. Yeah. The, the stadium's so unique. The the turf is so beautiful. It's an awesome place to play. The fans are amazing. So can't wait to can't wait for the weekend. Good, Shire, you're an Olympic champion. <laughs> yeah, I'm an Olympic gold medalist. How I'll does put, it feel? Put that on my Instagram bio. See so everyone knew that. Um, <laughs> yeah, tattoo it on my husband's forehead so he remembers what he's waking up to. In the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Always, you have to, of course. <laughs> And of course, uh, Shiri is known for uh, her electric footwork and deft pace. (laughs) You represented New Zealand in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. How was that? It was so much fun. Did you get that from Google or something? Electric? Uh, well, we pulled it from somewhere. Oh, yeah, we I love it. it. Again, let me tell you that one on them as well. This so yeah. I'll write it on my mirror so I can wake up to it every morning. It's like a, you write it on his like mirror. <laughs> electric footwork. Yeah, that's How like a cool that? thing to like run out to. Um, no, yeah, it was heaps of fun. Obviously, with COVID, though, we had no, um, couldn't have any supporters or anything in the crowd, but we felt the love and everything from back at home. So, yeah, it was heaps yeah. of fun. And so you won the gold medal, so that's exactly. all that matters. That's what matters. <laughs> You've come into the studio with an arm in a sling tell us a little bit about that uh this is just me being dramatic i just want okay. everyone to ask me if i'm okay uh, so are you yeah, okay? this is for show <laughs> i am thank you this the shoulder is okay but mentally um I, I'm, I'm fine as well <laughs> see that's rugby right <laughs> yeah i mean it's part of the game yeah i mean you know you 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 you're not surprised if something like this happens. That's of course, yeah. you true. avoid it mm. i mean speaking of injuries um you know nathan what kind of injuries have you sustained oh, over the course of your career? It's <laughs> a tough one. Oh, which bone have you not broken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It depends what you define as an injury. <laughs> have you had treatment on it? Because that's an injury that I've probably had an injury on every part of my body at some point. What but, was the worst one then? Uh, I had two shoulder surgeries. I had a broken leg. had required surgery. I had compartment syndrome in my arm. You can see the what scar is that? there. Yeah. Compartment, compartment syndrome. syndrome? What is that? Uh, basically, it was just a bleed. I ruptured my brachial artery when I was in Wales. I was 20 years old, and it just pooled in my arm. Oh, and wow. I needed an emergency surgery just to relieve the, the pressure in my arm. Good grief. Wow. So there's wow. a wide range of injuries yeah. in this How did you sport. not talk about that one first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one knows that one, right? Oh it's a compartment God. syndrome. No one's like, what? But, uh, yeah. Compartment syndrome, yeah. okay. <laughs> that must have made it really tough going back to the gym. Because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sure. for months. Yeah, over right? months. Couldn't feel my hands. Or my, my fingers were numb for forever because I guess just the pressure on the nerves and stuff like that. But... Fantastic game. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's all worth it. You feel a bit diva yeah, now, right? Yeah. Shiri's taking off a sling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't feel so no. bad now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue to talk to Nathan and Shiri on the Big Show TV. It is Wednesday, the 5th of April. Kiss 92 Day Check by Gain City. Gain City's 42nd anniversary sale is here. Enjoy. Okay. So what do you think people are going to expect this weekend? Oh, I think it's going to be it's it's uh it's going to be a dramatic weekend. There's so much riding on the series this year. It's the most competitive World Series ever. We got Olympic qualification. The top four four teams automatically qualify. France is obviously already qualified, being mm-hmm. a host nation. They're kind of floating around that fourth and fifth spot. So if they happen to be in there, then it'll be the top five. There's also a relegation this year. So the bottom or there's currently 16 teams that compete at tournaments. 15 core teams and an invitational so they're changing that next year to 13 so there's a relegation pool as well so there's so much riding for the top and bottom of the series so uh there's some interesting pools uh hong kong china have a tough pool this weekend in the pool of death um 
But no, what I'm expecting is just a fantastic weekend of rugby. Hong Kong was amazing last weekend. Sheree's mm. just coming off. She was humble there. She just came off a gold medal in, in Hong Kong. Well done. Um, yeah. 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 But uh, <laughs> no, it's going to be a great weekend of rugby and always a fantastic one here in Singapore. It's always so much fun. Yeah. I, I've been to every single one. I haven't been to a single one. Oh, you oh, haven't been to? Oh, you've got to go. I haven't been to a single one. You've got to go. Yeah, well, yeah. I won't be in town this weekend. It's an experience. Uh, sure, I was going to ask, the women are not playing this weekend, are they? No, no, okay. we're not in the sun, but Nick Next year, we'll be following the men in every single tournament. So oh, nice. at the moment, there's some tournaments that the men play in and the women play in. Why is that? Um, I am not sure. Because she's sure. injured. Yeah, so, yeah she's yeah, injured. Yeah, she's fine so now. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they thought probably no, but I, yeah, I'm not sure. But next year, we're all going to be in the same with nice. the same amount of teams. That'll be great. It'll yeah. be heaps of fun. Yeah, the after parties are fun as well. So <laughs> if, if, if you do a tournament like that, how, how long do you guys spend on the road? Must be quite a bit. Um, so for Hong Kong, we only were maybe like a week. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not actually too bad. Sometimes we spend like three or four weeks if we need to go and acclimatize the weather and stuff mm, like that. Mm. But otherwise, it's not. It's not that bad. Yeah, but as soon as you bad. start the tour, it's not no home at all. I mean, you. you it's not a constant travel. Uh, so, thing. um, so say for example, Hong Kong. Mm. We left on a Friday. Then the girls left the um, two or like a week and a half after and right. now they're going to be home for four weeks okay. before we go to Toulouse in France oh correct yeah. because you're not oh, doing right, this okay. weekend right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. right. Okay. and they're doing what they love so exactly yeah, yeah. exactly Definitely. doing what you love and seeing the world how yeah, good is that, the world that works. suddenly doesn't feel like work yeah. I mean, <laughs> just in case you're thinking that no I don't think it's work but it, it, it is it takes a toll I'm quite sure so how old were the both of you when you started playing rugby then uh, rugby for Canada or rugby in general in general uh, I was 14 Oh, okay. Yeah. So quite late then. Not yeah. not as a not as a toddler or anything. Yeah, and I think in Canada that's a pretty common age to start. Kind of when you get to high school. I started in grade eight. And, and, and your dad was a rugby your player. Your dad was yeah. a rugby player. I he thought was, you'd start yeah. much earlier. Yeah, no, he was. I I was more into like ice hockey and right. soccer oh, right. and okay. baseball and all those things that are super common in Canada. And mm. I knew he played rugby. I didn't know much about it, but I knew my dad was a rugby player. And it just so happens I kind of got into it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And yourself? Um, yeah, I would have been around the same, maybe same 15, 16. Right, okay. Yeah. But okay. I wasn't really tackling. I wasn't really good at it, so I wouldn't call it rugby. <laughs> I'd say maybe started properly at like 16. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got now, it. Nathan, you are Canada's all-time leader in World Rugby 7 Series and scoring. Yay. 1,859 points and uh, 79 appearances. Is that accurate? <laughs> I don't know. He's lost, it sounds, it He's lost good, count. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds good, though. Wow. Yeah, but congratulations, oh, man. Thank you very much. It sounds yeah. very impressive. I was and fortunate to play for a long time, so points just kind of happen when you play that mm -hmm. long. Yeah, mm -hmm. Right. So. And is this right? You're currently working as a fireman. That's my that's my main profession at the moment, yeah. Nice. I, I, I stopped after the Olympics in Tokyo, and then I've been doing that the last year and a half as my full-time job and what's that a, like that's great yeah i really like it have you I, saved any people i mean i yeah, try to occasionally yeah <laughs> uh, a couple of my teammates are also doing it or my ex-teammates okay we both we all retired so we're on the same it's like we never left the training environment we're on the same <laughs> truck it's it's pretty funny. How, how do you do that you, you have a full-time job and yet you have to stay trained and fit to play rugby sevens yeah well i'm not playing rugby sevens anymore i'm retired yeah from the team. yeah but but, but that means all the guys on on your your your, your are retired. Your your fireman squad are all retired completely. Yes, from like professional sport. Yeah, usually when the guys are on the teams, though the the yeah. national team, that's all they can do. They no, you can't have a full time job, full -time right? job yeah. right? There's no time for other work. It is a full time job. Mm. So, mm. so right. you would be considered professionals, so to speak. Yes. Yeah. 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 When we're full time like that. When you're yeah. full time. Like so that. this is a little holiday for you. <laughs> it is, yeah. I'm yeah. really happy to be here. It's uh, no, it's a treat. I got some people working for me at home, so it's that's one of the beauties of the job is being flexible and making things like that happen. So, mm. yeah, very Sh nice. Shere, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't get into professional <laughs> rugby. What would you be doing? I got asked this yesterday. I'd be a dog walker. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> They're earning a lot I of money love these days. Dogs. Okay. And because I live on a farm, so I pretty much just bring them to the farm and they go crazy. So it's pretty much dog watching rather than dog walking. Tell us so about envious. this farm. Tell us about the farm. What kind of animals do you have on the farm? Um, I've got three cows, okay. two pigs, two dogs, one cat. Okay. Yeah, so there's not too many, but yeah, there's a lot. It's heaps of fun. That that's, sounds like a lot to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know everyone keeps like, they're really astonished by having a farm because they can't fathom it here in Singapore. But yeah, 
It's what, cool. What dogs do you have? I've got a pit bull and a Labrador. Oh, wow. A pit yeah. bull. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Both I love pit bulls. beautiful. And yeah. Labrador. But you know, we well. can't keep pit bulls here in Singapore. Yeah, we're Why? Not, we're not allowed They're to. not allowed, yeah. Yeah, they're a banned breed. Oh, wow. Banned breed. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, a big number of breeds have to be muzzled if we bring them yeah. out, like the Rottweilers, mm. the Dobermans. No so you can yeah. have those here, though? The yes, yeah. you can. But not, yeah. But with special permits, though. Yeah. I think because we had one or two problems with pit bulls and Rottweilers. They're so misunderstood. They're very misunderstood. They are. You know, it's the owner's fault. Yeah, I no, think so. absolutely. Yeah. It's we, just we like no, life. We, we say that naughty children as well as the, as exactly. the adults. You know, it's all the upbringing <laughs> we have to blame. We're getting serious here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, back to you. You helped Canada's men's sevens team lift the first and only cup in Singapore back in 2017. How is that? Oh, it's amazing. Experience? Yes, that's why this tournament's so special for myself and Canadian rugby. Um, yeah, it was just one of those weekends that everything kind of went our way. We crossed over with the Kiwis in the in the quarters that went our way, and that's always a good day when you when you beat the the those boys. And then um, yeah, we just kind of got rolling, took it down. It was a fantastic memory. It's one of my one of my definitely one of the highlights of my career. Awesome. Um, yeah, this weekend's always an interesting one for upsets. The year before Kenya won their first tournament ever. Yeah. And mm. um, yeah, it'll be it'll be cool to see who takes it down this weekend. Okay, we'll go back on air. Stand by. KISS 92 traffic. On the PIE heading towards the airport before Pioneer Road North, look out for that broken down vehicle. Also on the AYE towards Tuas before Jurong Town Hall's exit, avoid lane 2, an accident has been reported. If you have anything else, the number to dial is 88550920. Good morning and welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Our guests for this morning are here for the Singapore Rugby Sevens happening over the weekend at the Singapore Sports Hub. Nathan Hirayama as well as Shire Kaka. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Good morning, Shire. I hear it's your first time in Singapore. It is. When did you get in? Um, two days ago. And what do you think so far? I think it's just stunning. Like, it's so nice and warm. I need to work on my tan. It's been raining in New Zealand, so I'm excited to do that. Um, and apparently the food's really good here, so... You haven't had anything yet in two days. No, I've... Well, okay, the first day I <laughs> slept until 11.30, um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, but last night we tried yakiniku. Okay. Yeah. All right. So okay. We'll go for some food. That's not Singapore food. That's oh, Japanese. Okay. Yeah. I know it's Japanese. Japanese food. <laughs> yeah, we lived in Japan, so I like was, was craving some Japanese food. But okay. we'll go for some local. If you guys have any. Oh, oh yeah. Of course we You've have. So many. Okay, cool. Well, Nathan's been here food. on so many occasions, yeah. so he'll yeah. be able to take you out oh, for no, local God, food. God. Have oh, you got I'm any really favorites? Of that. Have you got any favorites? No, honestly, I, you, we, when you're on tour, you eat in the hotel a lot. Yeah. yeah. You don't go out much mm. uh, for food, so that's something I always wish I did more here in Singapore. How, how controlled is your diet when you're on tour? Surely it must be controlled, wouldn't it be? <laughs> no, okay, the face says yes. no. <laughs> if my coach is watching, it is really controlled. <laughs> I have a very good diet. I've had no sugar this whole tour. <laughs> so sugar is a no-no, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a no-no. You're a great liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually telling the story yesterday though. You guys are such fun, sarcastic liars. I, um, when I came to the airport, I got picked up, and the guy said, the taxi guy said to me, "Oh, it's snowing in Singapore for the first time ever." It's snowing. It's in snowing, Singapore. and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so excited! Like, I get to be a part of history." Yeah. And I walk out, and it's like hot, <laughs> so hot. And I was like, "This guy, this is the first time I've met him, and he's telling like fun lies already." We're gonna have a great Welcome. time here in Singapore. <laughs> It'll hail tomorrow. It will, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Singapore, Huber. <laughs> I love it. Wow. But you know, it's, it was unusually hot yesterday because we've been experiencing wet weather as well. Mm. So, um, yeah, you know, I managed to go out on the course yesterday and have a nice round of... Uh, Golf, golf yesterday. Oh, really? and for the first oh, time. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh oh. He's I'm he's excited. To get around in. I'm hoping to get around in while I'm here. Oh, okay. yeah. he's very excited. He's I'll playing golf today. Day, I'm sure. You leaving on Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, Monday. Monday. <laughs> Plenty of time. Let me get this, out Monday. This guy plays five or six times a week. Really? Yeah. I'm playing yeah. three times this week. So I played yesterday. Go. I'm playing today. I'm playing tomorrow. How's your game? Um, okay, I'm a yeah. 21. Okay. Yeah. The courses here are beautiful. I hear they are beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful courses. Yeah, really. Glenn's nice. collection of golf clubs is quite beautiful. Yeah, too. so if you if you if you don't have your golf clubs here, and I assume you don't, no. he has no a problem. Glenn, Glenn has Take your pick. <laughs> Something yeah. like thirteen sets at home. So <laughs> Glenn, you Glenn could sponsor an entire tournament. Wow. <laughs> the sets are in my store right now. Yeah. I, okay. I have a store especially for my uh, yeah. golf stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is eight fourteen.
Kiss 92 Time Check brought to you by Putian. Introducing Putian's dish of the year. Play golf. He yeah. can't understand why people Are you play a golf. Member somewhere? Sorry? Are you a member somewhere? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Warren here okay. in Singapore. It's not a, yeah. Probably a nice, probably beautiful. It's spot. not bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty not a good. Bad pretty good. Yeah. Nice. We'll be in touch. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See if I can get a flight. Okay, guess who's playing golf on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Course is closed on Monday though, but there are a few other courses that are course, open. Yeah. If you tell them that Nathan wants to come and play, <laughs> hello, <laughs> yeah, they'll let you play. They'll let you play. So Sheree, do you do you, do you do anything else besides uh, your sport? Like, is there any other sport that you play or get involved in? No, no. not not really. Um, yeah, pretty much just love my dogs and love my home and enjoy doing a bit of videos and stuff on social media. That's heaps of fun. So yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Content, content creation. Yeah, content creation. <laughs> and my husband, so he used to live in Japan and we've been long distance for ages, so he's finally home now. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, so wow. just watch him cook and clean and stuff. And that's, and you watch him yeah, cook and really clean, right. Yeah, that's entertaining. Is that your content <laughs> that you put out? It's my content, it is, it is. And that's more of a hobby, just watching him do stuff. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. How she, long watch, you... she watches him cook and clean. I am so glad yeah. my wife's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you guys apart, like living apart? Um, he was in the, uh, over in Japan for six years. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, back and forth from Japan for that long. So, yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, so what was it like uh, bringing back the Olympic gold medal from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, speaking of Japan? Uh, it was pretty surreal because you, you dream about it for four years and then for it to actually be in your hands is... Like pretty surreal. I've got it in my bag as well, actually. If you guys oh, want yeah. to, oh, oh yeah, the medal. I oh want for you gosh. guys to have a look, so I'll, I'll bring it out after, so you guys can feel it too. But yeah, it's just surreal, is all I have to say about it. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't pretty think cool. I've ever it's, seen. Is one. it made of real gold? Or is I was going to say, I can we sell so. it? I think that's what I asked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, but, but you know, like the Olympic like, Committee is not watching. I wonder how much it costs. Like, if you could sell a gold medal, like if you're ever in trouble, is it made of real gold? Though? I think it's only like part. Actually, gold. Like plated. Yeah, maybe. It's not I solid. think you'll be able to get at least $25,000. That's a lot of money. That's it? That's a lot of That's money. It. Yeah, it's an Olympic gold nice medal. It's a rarity yeah. no matter what. You could get yeah. a couple so, yeah. more animals, like a couple of more cows and pigs. Exactly. And expand can... the farm. <laughs> See, now we're thinking. Yeah. Now we're thinking, yeah. I think there's a get pawn it. shop. Yeah, there's a pawn shop. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get on Google and have a look at that, but I'm not sure. We can get it assessed. Yeah. <laughs> at the pawn shop. $25,000, you can get a bigger kitchen, you can watch your husband cook more. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or could get two husbands to watch both of them. There you go. Perfect. She's, I'm just she's kidding, in the market. Really sorry, I love you. <laughs> and I think that was just a conservative estimate on my part. <laughs> I, I have no idea. She could get more. It's yeah, priceless, as they say. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. It's a unique Olympics, the COVID Olympics. Exactly. Yeah. 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 More different, right? There yeah. you go. My gosh, what was that like? <laughs> Nobody in the crowd? It was actually so nice because usually you can't, like in the crowds, you can't hear your teammates mm. speaking, but you could hear everything. Like you were echoing because it was so empty. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but does that change everything though, the way you play? I mean, if there's no crowd, because a lot of it, a lot of the energy you draw from, from the, the audience, crowds. right? Yeah, yeah well, and hopefully that's what people are going to get this weekend in Singapore is a nice, like fun, vibey crowd for them to get the energy off. But um, yeah, I suppose you just roll with the punches in rugby. Mm. You know, you just deal with what you've got. And yeah, yeah. yeah. But what yeah. do you think, Nathan? Playing without without spectators. I mean, I thought it was strange. Yeah, I thought it was really strange. But it was an amazing experience. Um, the whole games were unique. We had to get. I don't know about. I'm sure Sheree had to do the same thing. We had to get tested every morning. Couldn't go to other events. We had to wear like gloves in the food hall. And <laughs> oh. Wow. It was yeah. There was plexiglass between oh, you know mm, you and your yeah. teammates at every right. station when you were eating. So it was uh, a, definitely a unique Olympic Games, but um, yeah, it's something I'll always cherish and remember. It was pretty amazing. But did you go no. to the Rio ones? Did you go to the Rio Olympics? No, oh, did, we didn't either. qualify. Did you did you have to wear masks while playing? No, no right? Not while playing. Not while playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, play. no, that would have been yeah, hard, right? Hard. Goodness, not but while playing. Does it but... change the energy at all with no one in the crowd? Or does it does it feel like? You know, it, it, I'm sure it feels very different. It definitely feels, you know what, it feels different when you run out. Right. Like during the game, even when there's a ton of people there, I don't know about what Sheree mm. would say, but I don't really notice don't, the yeah. crowd. You might notice like the odd big moment when it gets really loud or someone mm. does something amazing and there's a big break in the play and you kind of feel that energy. But for the most part, I'm just kind of focused that's, on the That's so there. interesting because here and, and around the world now, the crowd is always that extra player, right? In football, the, cr the, the crowd is the 12th man. Mm. Rugby sevens, the crowd is the eighth man. And, and, but, but you say you don't really feel it. 
I mean, you do in the big, like in like moments. in the big moments. Mm. But yeah. in general, I know for myself, I always try to just focus on. You're the so task. focused on yeah. what you're doing. So yeah. If it's something that's like, if you're playing the home team, for example, if I'm yeah. in New Zealand playing against New Zealand, I'm trying to block it out. If I'm playing in Vancouver, mm. I want, you know, I might use that a bit more to my, I might soak in the environment a bit more. So it might just be kind of a strategy mm. of playing in different environments. Mm. Do you guys have any pregame rituals that you guys do? Uh, I'm a very much like a dancer. <laughs> Okay. And yeah, I'm very. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it. <laughs> very high energy, like loud music. So you plug That's in it. and you're just like yeah. moving. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That gets you going. And you? Not really. No, no, I didn't like them because if I ever forgot to do one, I would be rattled. You would jinx you know, I'd yourself. Be like, oh no! Like I forgot to do that thing before the game. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I love yeah. that. She's that attitude. No. Don't start what you can't sustain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Let me take that into your golf game. Exactly. Yeah. Different, <laughs> different pre-routine for the golf swing every time too. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a, a, a no. ritual? No. Okay. Okay. No. Just right. go in there like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, I got this before we even found out you got a shoulder injury. It says here, uh, Shire is a true warrior overcoming shoulder and knee injuries. <laughs> she's, she's confused. Shire has returned <laughs> stronger to compete and competed in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Not. Are you prone to injuries? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the first one I've had in ages, like a year and a bit. It's been a long time since I've had an injury. Like, okay. Yeah. Two shoulder reconstructions, one, oh, no, one shoulder reconstruction, two ACLs. Do you forget after a while? I do. Like, I really do. <laughs> yeah, it's been that long. I just don't even think about them anymore. Hmm. Yeah. So Except for I when I want to, like, get out of something with my husband, I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit sore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't walk the dogs. Can you clean the house, please? Yeah, I can't. I can't vacuum. My leg's sore. <laughs> so rugby players do get injured more than maybe uh, a footballer. Oh yeah, I would uh, imagine. A, a soccer player, that is. I would Surely imagine. Surely they get ACLs and ankles. No, but and... but rugby is so much more. But you more guys have contact. contact. Yeah, like football, mm. not as much. You have so much more contact. Because we were just having this conversation the other day. If I mean, if I had a kid, I don't know if I would let my kid play rugby, rugby. At, at that oh, young I would. age. Mm. I would. Yeah. It's an awesome game. I would because, mm -hmm. and I truly believe this. It is the gentleman's game. It is. Without uh, a doubt. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you come out of rugby with. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. culture, right? That culture, yeah. that respect that for, history for, for as well, the story, people, yeah. you know, and authority. It, you come out of rugby f with that. But it's such a cool sport, though. I would love to say, I'm a rugby player. <laughs> yeah. You know, because mm. uh, rugby players need to be strong. Mm. Yeah. Strong and in fast. character, physically mm. strong. Some, you know, it's just cool being a rugby player. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? most of the the contact and everything, that's not really where you get the or where I got the injuries from. Really? It's from like yeah, from like stepping or like just random um like passing or like where your shoulder's gone. Right. Like Seriously. Like, yeah, heaps of the injuries aren't actually from the contact of the tackle. Mm. Like if you're doing the tackle right, then you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, when I watch rugby, uh -huh. right, I'm I'm always a little nervous when you guys are on the ground and everyone's around you and I'm thinking like, okay, everyone... don't step on, on don't step on, on, on that player's fingers or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because everyone is so close yeah. and they're, you know, have you ever, Broken have fingers? your fingers ever been stomped on? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, hey. it happens, yeah, accidentally. My fingers are gross probably. Yeah. <laughs> it happens occasionally. So broken fingers. All yeah, right. you know what yeah. I hurt my fingers is when I'm like diving and grab someone's jersey. Yeah, and right. Fingers get caught in their jersey. Oh, they, yeah, that's when I hurt my hands the most. Things wow. Like that. Okay. That's when you catch a ball and it hits the tip of your. Oh. Like, Ow! Like, Ow! Yeah, that. <laughs> and just a Ow. little a dislocation, those, right? And you yeah, push it back small in. Ones, like, oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Okay. That sounds terrible. Let's uh, go back uh, on air. On air. <laughs> What a great track, huh? Beyonce, Cuff It, right here on KISS 92. All the great songs in one place.
Kiss 92 traffic. Only one situation to look out for. This is on the AYE towards to us before Jurong Town Hall's exit. Avoid lane two. An accident has been reported. For anything else, you can always WhatsApp it in to 8855-0920. Good morning, Singapore. We have a couple of champions in the studio here for the Singapore Rugby Sevens over the weekend. We've got Shire and Nathan. Yeah, speaking of champions, what uh, what's going to happen this weekend? Who do you think will come out tops? Oh, uh, come on, I'm biased. I'm from New Zealand, so obviously I'm going to say New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Okay, Nathan? But if you weren't, I was going to say Canada. If I weren't, I'm half Samoan, so I'll go for the Samoan team next. <laughs> okay, so Nathan says Canada. You have to say Canada, right? But if you, you don't have biased, to yeah. say Canada. Oh, man, we were talking about this yesterday. It's so Realistically. It the, is. the Kiwi boys have been playing so well. Uh, the Argent Argentinian boys have been fantastic all season two. They're currently second in the world. So uh, I really think I really think we could see a different team win this weekend. Okay. As, as in pr uh, prior Singapore years, Singapore mm. tournament years. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's always it's always weird. It's the second week. Teams are tired. Some interesting pools. You just never know what's going to happen. So. Right. Anyone to look out for? Any players to look out for? Oh. Anyone to keep an eye on? We've got a few debutants. They just de um, debuted in Hong Kong oh, wow, so okay. for the um, New Zealand men's team. So, yeah, that'll be exciting to watch. Okay, okay. Nathan, anyone that you have your eye on? Yeah, no, I'm really liking... I'm going to give a shout-out to Josiah Mora. Like he's playing for Canada right now. He's been a fantastic... Uh, kind of a standout for them all season. Um, oh, what's that number 11 in Argentina that I was asking you about? Oh, uh, Gonzalez. Yeah, you need to watch some highlights on him. My like, goodness. Absolutely. The try amazing. he scored last week yeah. was ridiculous against Samoa. Okay. Like four or five tackles broken, but yeah. Um, yeah. There's just there's people on every team you're just in awe of, even though you know it's it's funny now that I'm not playing, just watching them like oh, like it's it's, it's a crazy. whole different perspective. It right? is. Yeah. It's uh, no, I'm, you're you're they're really impressive. All the all the all the guys and girls. It's just amazing to see. Mm. So if I would ask you uh, to name the top three teams uh, this year at the Singapore Rugby No Sevens. bias, yeah. yeah. Top three yeah. teams. Top three teams. What, do you have a bet on the go or something? No. <laughs> 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 we might after this. <laughs> <laughs> the top three teams is... Okay, I'll say New Zealand. I'll throw New Zealand in my top three. Okay. I'll say Fiji and Argentina. Okay. Wow. Fiji won tough. last... Uh, Very tough. Last rugby seventh. Shiri, what about you? Your top three. Yeah, I'll go New Zealand, Fiji, and... I want to chuck in a different team in there. Um, we'll say South Africa. Like okay. okay. Wait, okay. does that no? That would mean that New Zealand's out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they're, in, oh, they're in South Africa, so New Zealand. Quick oh, 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 oh. yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> Quick thinking there. Yeah. Hang on, they're in the same pool. <laughs> you know, earlier we we're talking about food, and Nathan, you've been here what six times already? Something you're saying like that, right? Yeah. Six times. First time for you, Shire, and uh, yesterday you had Japanese food. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. We need to get and you a lot of that. And we're suggesting like local food. Yeah. So I was thinking, you guys should go to place called Glutton's Bay. Absolutely. Yes. Glutton's it's just next Bay. to the Esplanade Theatre. No, we're going to... Newton. Newton. At, lunch, no, at lunchtime today, mm. we're going to try some local Singapore food like at the Hawker Centre. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have... We've got... We've got Newton, have Newton, Newton Hawker, Hawker Centre. Yeah. We've got oh, Glutton's okay. Bay. We've, we've got, got over 140. We've got tons. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure you guys will be taken to... What would be like a delicacy in Singapore? A delicacy? Yeah. A wow. delicacy? Or like your no. national We food. have so What's many. Uh, chicken, chicken rice. rice. Chicken rice. Okay. Chili crab. Chili crab. Uh, nasi Singapore lima. Singapore If you're a little... Only at the long bar. Only at the long bar. Only at the long bar. If you want to try something that's a little different and you like seafood... Barbecued stingray, mm. or the stingray. oyster omelette as well, right? Yeah. The oyster omelette is something. Yeah, so, but the I oyster omelette. Oh, really? so good. Yeah, but you know it's, it's gonna oh, be. Oh wait, my face is on camera. Not <laughs> <laughs> terribly unhealthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Of course, yeah, but they're 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 off the schedule right now, yeah, so they're allowed so, to eat anything okay. they that's want. Why, that's right. why I like Japanese food as well because it's um. It's it's healthier. It's healthier. It mm. is. It but is. I mean, the only reason I'm saying this is because they mentioned chili crab and barbecue stingray <laughs> yeah. and like yeah. chicken rice. <laughs> but is your chili? Is it really chili? Yes, yeah, it's, spicy. Yeah. it's I'm chili. terrible spicy. But oh, it's a okay. it's it's a tomato based type thing with yeah. some spice in it. But I think yeah. you know. Then don't. It'll upset the, your tongue. The stingray. <laughs> then the stingray. Because my you wife can't take much do. spice oh, as well. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Well, while you two are going to golf, I'll hang out with your wife then. <laughs> You're safe with the chicken rice as a first dish. Okay, yeah. cool. You're very yeah, safe yeah, with chicken yeah, rice. Yeah. yeah. You For are. Sure. All right. We are with uh, Nathan and Shire right here on KISS 92's Big Show. It is the 5th of April.
Kiss 92 Day Check by Gain City. Gain City's 42nd anniversary sale is here. It- you know, guys, we, we've got parents who listen to us. What, what do you say to parents if their kids turn to them and said, you know, like, like Glenn, he, he's worried about if he had kids about them taking up rugby. What would you say to parents if they came to you and said, I want my kids to take up rugby, particularly if it was a girl? If it was a girl? Yeah. Um, you know, I think if you're thinking about the injuries and stuff, you can get injured doing anything. True. You could be walking yeah. down the stairs, mm-hmm. fall, and then, you know, hurt your shoulder and be in a sling like I am. Yeah. But I think the most valuable thing that you learn from rugby is the the team, like the the teamwork that you can learn, the the motivation, the determination, the when you're in a tough spot, how to get out of that. Um, so that helps me off the field as well. So when I'm in tough times, sometimes the things that I use on the field, I can use off the field too. So mm. there's so many lessons that you can learn from playing rugby and then all the fun stuff like traveling and you know meeting new people, um, building relationships with people. That, that's everything that you learn in rugby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Nathan, yeah, we were talking board. about on the way here too. Obviously, you never want to get hurt playing mm. sports, but you learn a lot from getting hurt. You know, you learn a lot from overcoming injuries, overcoming kind of setbacks and things like that. So, I look back on my career. Obviously, it's brutal when you're out and you're watching your teammates play and stuff. But I find if your mindset's right, you can kind of you do a lot of growing from that. Yeah. Um, what I would say to, to parents worried or their kids are interested in playing rugby, the first thing they teach you when you start playing rugby is safety. Mm. and how to tackle properly, how to fall correctly. Um, so that's something that they're really trying to hammer home. I know back home in Canada, it's like a, it's a massive thing we're working on. And I was amazed by the amount of kids playing rugby here in Singapore mm. last year when I was here. It was a, a phenomenal amount of people. So um, no doubt the future is bright here. There's a lot of interest in, of, in rugby in Singapore. And um, yeah, I just think... Like Sheree said, I have friends who never played rugby who've been injured more than me because, mm. you know, they like skateboarding or whatever. They, you know, they've slipped in a hot tub or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like snowboarding. But, so it's just you can either do what enjoy, play sports, play things you want to do, or, you know, don't do that. But mm. I would yeah. say go for it. Mm. Our boss is a huge rugby fan, yes, and yes. his uh, son is a good rugby player. He's a 14-year-old son. St. Yeah. Andrews School. St. Andrews, yeah. Yeah, his name is Wesley Chu. Good morning, Wesley. Good morning, Wesley. Good morning, Wesley. <laughs> I think they're one of the better schools, if I'm not wrong. Absolutely. Uh, one Andrews, of the better rugby schools. One yeah. of the rugby yeah. schools, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are two other schools, I think, that are uh, pretty good at rugby mm. as well. ACS and uh, I think Raffles. Raffles. ACS, mm-hmm. Raffles, is, is quite good as well. St. Andrews, SGI. They're, they're SGI, the, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, SGI. No, not anymore. I've got to admit, not, not SGI, anymore. In its, in its In my day, we were, but not now. Not now. Not anymore. In his day, you know? <laughs> Did you play rugby? I did. I really? did for okay. school. Position. Yeah. Uh, well, my position was usually water boy. <laughs> I did try to get position. on the team, but I was part of the team. I trained with the team, but I would get on the pitch, and ten minutes later, I had an ankle that went, <laughs> or I had something else that went. So yeah, they pull his ears. They, yeah, <laughs> because so they are very big. <laughs> yeah. So scrums were not a good thing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Does anyone else, Sheree, in your family play rugby? Because you come from a, not a family of rugby, but your dad played uh, rugby. Uh, anyone else for you? No, 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 family. They, um, they all play rugby league. I'm not sure if you guys know what that mm-hmm. is. Yeah, rugby league was like famous in Australia and New Zealand. What is rugby league? Um, oh, it's, it's hard to explain. You'll have to Google it, everyone. If you're, not in, if you're in the cars, don't do that. But eventually, <laughs> yeah. yeah, rugby league is what it's my family It's a bit like loves. Aussie rules? Is it a bit no, like, no, no, it's it's not. no, it's different. No, no, it's yeah, got heaps of different rules. Okay. But, the yeah. big one being there's no rucks. So yeah. you have six tackles, correct? Yep. Okay. You okay. get tackled and everyone has to get back ten meters and so it's a bit more like that. Yeah. Similar to rugby, but yeah, not. that's probably the biggest difference. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, because rugby sevens is different, you know. Yeah. Rugby yeah. sevens is a lot of fun. I mean it's it's different rugby sevens is different from rugby. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, I've, I've always admired rugby sevens players. How you cover that pitch and they're just seven. Yeah, man. Mm. So fast paced. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's heaps of fun, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, so fun to watch. And That's why it's. Fifteens is 80 minutes and sevens is only 14. Yeah. So to have yeah. to focus for 80 minutes, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Get me a bed already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think I'm more tired after the 14 minutes <laughs> yeah, than the 80 true. minutes. You would yeah, be because true. you've got so much ground, so much to, ground cover. to cover. Yep. Mm. There's no pacing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And the yeah. amount of times you touch a ball compared to 15 so is a little bit different as well. Oh my god! I'm just so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. You're so I can't excited. wait to be at the stadium this weekend. This weekend. Yeah. Do you have a costume? 
No. <laughs> you better get your costume. Okay. That's what I'm excited to see, people in costumes. Or is it not really? I'm we not sure. It's well, we've, had, yeah. we've had yeah. uh, the couple of times that I've been, it, you do see some people. Some. Who come. No, not, there not. are quite a number uh, of people, actually. I don't think you're going to see as many as you say you would get in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah. Mm. Right. But there are people who dress. Cool. Fun. Are, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, definitely. There are people who take it all off as well. Because it, it, it's part of the culture, right? Are you right? saying people or you? <laughs> I would love to. He's secretly wishing Maybe that. Maybe 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These days I'm like, oh, okay. I'll leave my shirt on. <laughs> the more, more clothes, the better. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is, you know, what, one thing really good about this year's uh, Rugby Sevens is... Um, because the last one, I think we still had um, measures we yes. had to observe. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Last year, there were rules. Yeah. 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 People were still wearing masks mm-hmm. and all. And so they had to be separated X number Within of seats a meter, between yeah. each person. Yeah. yeah. And groups of yeah. whatever. It wasn't as much fun. No, I'm sure it, no. this year will be different. Yeah. I'm, I'm too... You know, the the whole COVID thing was such a such a strange time for everyone. How did you guys manage during the? Where were you guys? Back home. I was back home. Yeah, mm. I think for I know for myself um, and probably a lot of people in that sevens world, it was so much uncertainty around the Olympic Games, it being delayed a year. Will they happen mm. and things like that? So I know that took that occupied a lot of my mind space during that time out of our control completely they ended up happening and they were fantastic but yeah it was just such a weird time for the world obviously there was more important things going on in the world than an olympic games yeah. but um no it was just def- definitely just such a weird time reflecting on it it's hard to even really remember and there's mm. no all end in the sight details. at that point yeah, yeah it's like, almost like it didn't happen exactly. yeah. like, is this dream. what the world is going to be from now on yeah did yeah. you guys, uh, as sportsmen, uh, was it hard to handle mentally, like within your circle? I mean, not necessarily you guys. I tell but, you, let's, uh, uh, let's, let's ask that. Let's ask that. That's okay. the last question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> KISS 92 traffic. Look out if you're on the SLE heading towards a CTE after the TPE exit. Avoid the rightmost lane an accident has been reported. Also on the KJE towards the BKE after the PIE entrance, a broken down vehicle. If you see anything else, it's 8855-0920. Good morning, Singapore, and welcome back to The Big Show. On the show this morning, representing the great country of Canada, Nathan Hirayama, uh, and uh, representing the great country of New Zealand, Shire Kaka. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Now, we were just chatting on the Big Show TV a little bit about the time during COVID, and you guys were lucky to be at home uh, during during that period. But as sports people, not knowing, I suppose everyone went through it, not knowing uh, what the future landscape would be like uh, for sporting events. Because that's a that's a full on event where everyone has to be in such close proximity and all that. What was going through your minds, and did you have anyone in the community that found it a little bit harder to deal with mentally? Yeah, we had a few. Um, so we're a tight knit team, so we had a few that were struggling and a few that were okay. So the people that were okay were helping the struggling, and again, that's the beauty of being in a rugby team is you always have support. Um, I personally was okay because I was at home and just enjoying being at home and not having to go into trainings actually Mm. for a bit. So it's actually quite nice to just have some time off and, you know, kind of just see what else is out there just in case, you know, um, you did lose your job and you didn't have rugby anymore. So it was stressful, but also a really nice time. What was the just in case for you? Dog walking again. Dog walking. <laughs> yeah, dog walking. Dog walking. Yeah. yeah. Or I was going to build like kennels on the farm and have like a doggy daycare or something. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Nathan? For myself during yeah. that time? Yeah. I, I think uh, I think what I just kept trying to say to myself is, is that I'm out of our, anyone's control. Um, just kind of see what happens, try to stay focused on what we can do. All I all we could do was prep as though the Olympics were going to happen mm. because I don't, I forget what month that came out that they were no cancelled, but it was, uh, yeah, it was just kind of a shock because there was so much excitement leading up for that. Um, but yeah, no, I think looking back on it, there were some good things to take out of it. There's a lot of time, got to spend a lot of time with family and mm. friends and being athletes, you know, you were kind of that out of town son a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. I wasn't mm. always there. So that's something I look back on and I'm pretty happy that I got to spend those times with family and friends and things like that. So it wasn't all bad. And um, yeah, I think uh, it sounds like we're, we're kind of through that. And um, I think this weekend will be, uh, we'll hopefully showcase that. 
Yeah. Before we let you guys go, one last question. Same question for the both of you. Why should people go down for the Singapore Rugby Sevens this weekend? Shire? Well, I am going to be doing karaoke at 3 p.m. on Sunday and between the games. Yeah! So, no yes, uh, Ruby, Ruby 2 and I are going to put the sing in Singapore. So um, we'll see you there for that. If you want to see it, you better wow. come down. Wow, Nathan, you got to try and top yeah, that. No karaoke for me, yeah. but I think it's going to be a blast. He's going to be the backup dancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. I can do that. No, it'll be, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be a fun weekend. It's, these tournaments are so fun. Um, you won't be disappointed if you come. So definitely get out there and... Uh, yeah, have a good time. And it's perfect. This weekend is a long weekend. Yeah, so it it's is. Be nice. oh, no excuses, yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. tickets. None at all. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, Shire, Nathan. We wish you guys all the very best. And uh, hopefully we bump into you this weekend. Hopefully. Sure. All right. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> the Big Show.